Hello, I greet you. Welcome to another one. So let's get into this uh, video. Let's hear what Prophet Angel has to say and we'll come back with a comment. Now I'll tell you this. I had a vision of people watching a video. Rihanna came in. Uh, P. Diddy came in. And they were watching just a video, music videos. I know the songs. I'm not going to give you the songs because you'll make it a doctrine. And then say everything Rihanna says is good except this, this song. No, nah, I'm not giving you the song. So it was changing one after the other. Music is coming on, music is coming on, and people are singing, and people are singing, and boom, it happens. I said, What's happening? Somebody came behind me and said, Do you know what they are doing? I said, They're enjoying music. He said, No. They think they are enjoying music. See, they think they are celebrating this event, this festive season, this thing. They think it. But the reality is, have you not read in the scriptures when the Bible says when Jesus cast out the demon that was dumb? As if the demon itself was dumb. So it wasn't the person who was dumb, but the demon was dumb. But demons are not dumb or deaf. So the reality is, they are doing it. And I'm just listening, and this man is talking. This angel is talking. He said, what they do not know is, as they watch this music, the demon in them is the one that is entertained by it. So they've just become vessels to entertain a demon. So since the demon has no physical eyes to use to watch Rihanna, he is using their bodies to watch the music the demon likes. So when Christians are looking at this, they're thinking they love it. Listen, every realm you enter, you are invited by a demon or a spirit. Let me explain. The breathing you are doing right now is a spirit that compelled you. If any man says Jesus is Lord, it is the Holy Ghost who has compelled them. That means even for you to say the Lord Jesus is a spirit that compelled you. To use it to, for you to say he is a cast, it's a spirit that comes. To breathe right now is a spirit that is compelling you to breathe. Because if your spirit leaves you, you can't breathe anymore. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So there is a certain kind of spirit that is allowing you to breathe. Wow, that's powerful. So many thanks to the brother who sent me this video. So let's also get into what uh, Apostle Grace uh, said about... Um, a brother, I don't know uh, who sings gospel music, but I don't know what's happening to him right now. And that's uh, Kirk Franklin. Let's hear. Before the camera, they're doing all kinds of things. They're abusing each other. They're speaking things. They had the one famous artist, an old man, a general in worship, you know, was singing songs. He called it hyperbole. And he, he, you know, he was talking about how the lamb and the lion are bowing down to the goat. And some of us who study Baal worship, goat is also a symbol of Baal. And, and some of us are confused. I guess, you know, it was hyperbole. I didn't intend. But, but you ask yourself the question, what spirit inspired him to create such a conflict on the altar? But then we understand the altar he was on was an altar of the devil. And they are saying, oh, you know, God sent us in the world. And then you ask them how many were saved. No, you're just ministering to the comforts of men who are already dead and cannot live, but can accept the conveniences that come from a spirit that has no power. You understand what I'm saying? If you say this, you say, this guy is attacking, they attacked you. You know, some of you are very sick. Already you're part of the generation I'm talking about. Because somebody will say, this guy was attacking so and so. Some of us have no time to attack people. No. No, you just don't know us. You just don't know us. And God can judge that. But let me tell you something. Our generation is losing it. It begins with a fall away. And I'm not telling you to point at the other brother or sister. I'm telling you to point on yourself. And see how many ways we have not only reconciled with darkness, but tolerated certain things that are not supposed to be, you know, tolerated and agreed with in our spirits. How many little compromises are throwing us off? You know, you find people in church, but <laughs> we are even now going to a point of now examining whether some of you who are in church are really born again. Because there are things, when you have the Holy Spirit of God, there are things you can't say. There's a way you can't be. I'm not saying that you're not going to be weak. 
but I've told people where the doctrine is alive and a man still keeps conviction, no matter how far they fall, we can get them back. But what about those whose consciences now, like the Bible says, have been seared? They no longer can hear conviction anymore. They no longer can be convicted. You can't tell them that, brother, what you're doing is wrong anymore because they no longer see that it is wrong anymore. Well, that's a powerful message. So me sharing these videos, it doesn't mean that I'm exempted. I'm also learning as I'm hearing because there are some other things that I uh, actually see that, oh, wow, there's some music which I should not be listening to. So I thank God for our ministers for this counsel that they are giving us. I hope and pray that as I have, because I'm actually repenting, I'm actually changing my mind with regards to some of the things I was entertaining. So I hope this uh, benefited most of us. Um, Romans chapter 12 from 1 to 2. I hope we put that into practice. Like, share, comment and subscribe. I'll meet you in the next one. God bless you.